Today we will be assembling the fish automata. In your kit, you have a baggie full of all the pieces that you will need. Instructions, glue, sandpaper, and a spacer. This is important, the spacer. And wax, we'll get to that later. You're going to, uh, here's your instruction sheet and your pieces are labeled by numbers and how to assemble them. The first step is to gently remove the fish pieces from the, big, the background piece. And then assemble all of your pieces into uh, how they'll go together. We'll do this by looking at the instruction sheet. When you separate your these pieces, there may be little um, piece of extra wood from how they keep it together while it's in the box. You can gently sand those off. I won't take time to do all of that on the video, but you can take the time to do it until they're all smooth. Anything that protrudes like this, just gently sand it off That's what the sandpaper's for, so it will go together smoothly. Okay, so we're going to set aside all of our pieces. There are two of every piece of the fish, so we're just going to stack those up and remove the extra with our sandpaper. Then for the base, you'll need these pieces. The base, and we'll set it the way it is set in the instructions with the larger part, the hole further from this end. This piece is number 10. It would line up with that hole. This piece is number 12, and it has a dowel hole the same size as that. You'll need the two short dowels and they tell you the size. This one is 12 millimeters and this one is 12 millimeters. On your ruler you'll see or you'll see the measurements and we have to line it up to make sure that we have the right one. So this one's the 12 centimeters, millimeters, excuse me. So I'm gonna set though that one by there this one's a little bit skinnier, so it'll fit in that hole. It is also 12 millimeters, so we'll set that down. And then these pieces, three, two, and four, look like that. So we're gonna set those together right over here to be assembled in a minute. All right. Then it shows you the picture of how they will be assembled. Now it'll give you the numbers and lengths for the next part, the crank. So we've got this piece. This one is 69 millimeters. You'll have two of these to go with your 69 millimeter. And then this piece will go at the end, and this one, which is 25 millimeters. And then on the other side of the crank, it's actually the crank. This is the crank shaft, and this is for the crank. We'll have one of these this piece, a small dowel that goes into that hole. That one is 15 millimeters long. All right, when it is assembled, it will look like this, going the one handle going through on the crankshaft and then the crank handle. Now we're gonna go to this part. Here's all the part numbers. 
this one. And you'll notice that this has a hole on the down side, two on this side that go all the way through, and then one on this side. And then we need the 42 millimeter piece, a 23 millimeter piece, and then two that are 68 millimeters. So those will all go with that one. And we'll move on to the next part of the instruction shows how it will be assembled. We'll get to that, how those parts are gonna be assembled and it numbers the next set. So that's going to be this piece with two holes and rounded edges and two smaller washer pieces. Those will be going on there and it shows how. Now we're gonna go on to our last set of pieces. We're gonna have the longest dowel, which is 130 millimeters. Number 13, which is a square with hole all the way through. And this piece that has one large hole, one small hole and then one dowel that is 28 millimeters. So those are the pieces for that. And then it will show you how that is assembled and how we put the fish on at the end. So those are all the pieces. You will also need glue, either toothpicks or an old brush to put the glue onto your automata. Now we're ready to be yeah. ready to build. You're going to lay out your one layer of fish pieces and pieces of fabric at every joint. The first one and the last one only get one piece of fabric. All the others get two and they're going to be spaced out like the diagram. We will be using the spacer to make sure that there is a big enough gap between the pieces after we put the glue on. Everywhere you see the letter G, that means to glue. So I've laid them out first. Now I'm gonna take glue, lift up the piece, put some glue on each side. Lay the piece of fabric in the glue and then make sure that it is spaced correctly. You don't want extra space because it will kind of sag as it uh, moves. So you just want, you know, it should move easily, but it should not be tight on this piece of cardboard. And you want the top and the bottom to line up. So you put that piece on, move to the next two. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue all of these in place. Put a generous amount, but not so much that it's squishy. And we don't want the glue to go between the pieces because they will get stuck and then it won't swim. We want our fish to swim. So we're gonna put some glue on each of those pieces. Line them up. And you have a couple extra pieces of fabric just in case you mess up. Leave just enough space for it to wiggle. And you can double check it with your cardboard. Make sure that they, it can move in between those pieces. Move those off and put the next two on. And this one rides close to the bottom. It's also good to have a piece of uh, a, a wet cloth so you can get any extra sticky off of your fingers. So 
just creates a really nice rhythmic movement when it rocks back and forth. You want to make sure your glue is directly across from the other spot of glue as you put it on. And you can use a um, toothpick to do that. I just like the brush because it seems to go a little bit faster. You want to stretch the fabric between the two pieces of wood. Once we're done, we'll double check all of our joints. And we'll be putting more glue on top of this. And it kind of soaks into the fabric, which makes it nice that it gets good and sticky. don't want any to hang off the top or the bottom, so you want to keep your fabric in the middle of the wood. One piece left. Make sure that they're laying flat and double check your joints. This one looks a little tight, so I'm going to pull it a little bit more. That one looks good. Anywhere it's tight, just stretch it out a little bit. But not so much that it uh, sags when we have the movement going on. It dries pretty quickly, so you have to work work with it fast. And if it worse comes to worse, you can tear it off and try again. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to put more glue on the outsides of these. And we'll be gluing on the second layer of the fish. So we'll put a little bit of glue on every piece of cloth. These joints are what's going to hold the whole, these pieces of cloth will hold the whole fish together. This one looks a little tight, so I'm going to pull it out. You can visually do it or use your card, but you definitely don't want it smaller space than that card spacer. We need that much space for it to have some movement. So they all should look pretty equal. Right, and then we will put these pieces on. Line them up and squish them on. And I kept them in order over there so that they will be in order as I attach them here. Okay, we'll do one last double check to make sure that there is enough space. This one's a little tight, so I'm going to scoot them apart a little bit with my spacer. And we'll, when it's complete, it will move like this. but we're gonna set it aside to dry.